shortly after I posted a video about how the coral reefs had been bleaching and dying out in the Pacific, I got an interesting tweet from somebody near Fukushima that claims to be eating fresh catch off of Fukushima Daiichi coast. And I just wanted to tell you how stupid that is and how deceiving they are with their tests. Now they're only checking for three isotopes and one of the isotopes that they were picking up was cesium-134. What do we know about cesium-134? It's a short-lived isotope of approximately about two years or so. So when you find cesium-134, you know that there's continuing fission happening going into the water. Now cesium has many daughters, like 40 different daughters, and they all break down at different times. Most of them, a few seconds, maybe minutes. But let me tell you, you get one of these cesium isotopes in you that lasts for a few minutes. It only takes a few minutes from apply to the point where the reactors are melting down into groundwater to flow out into that ocean. So if you catch a fish there that absorbs that into their skin, you could potentially get one of these really dangerous daughters of cesium. But then again, the tests they're using, like I say, are so deceptive. Because they're only looking for cesium-134, cesium-137, and one other isotope. Yumi Liba and the fish around Fukushima. We know they check Fukushima full of radiation checker. Therefore, technically, it's safe to eat. Even though some people avoid eating. Yeah, the smart people, you dumbass. But how about the fish from the sea near Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station? Yeah, how about them fish right by there? You might hesitate because you do not know the radiation level of the fish. But how much is it? 1,000 becquerel per kilogram or less or more? There are people who want to know to do the fishing there and check the radiation level of the fish. As you see in this report, they were just checking for cesium. But only two of the isotopes of cesium, where we know there's thousands of different decaying daughters to check for. And actually the biggest isotope release is uranium. And then plutonium. And then you have all these different daughters. So they detected here, look, 64 becquerels per kg of cesium of 134. Which means ongoing fission is happening at Fukushima. And if you get eat any fish with cesium-134, you're guaranteed to be eating a fish with hundreds of different isotopes in it as well. But they're not detecting these tests. They're not even checking. They sometimes go near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant sea and take fish and soil under the sea. Members and other people who wanted to go with them went near power plant by fishing boat. Ah yes, what a great place to fish, Fukushima Daiichi. Huh? Hey, it's pre-cooked, you don't even have to cook it. As you can see, these dumbasses we're eating this sushi. Fukushima number one power plant from a ship. Now look, on this test, they're finding more cesium-134 than cesium-137. Which I think is terrible news. That means that they, there's just tons of release going into the Pacific. That's what that's telling me right there. When you're finding more 134 than the 137. Bad news. Radiation data of the Inami. Non-detect. Now I start eating. Retweet. So they start eating the Inami fish. They say Inami sashimi is very tasty. But you know these jerkwads? You don't see them eating any of this fish. Yeah, they cut it off for you and they act like they're eating it, but I, you see those chopsticks? They haven't even touched this fish. That's total crap what they're doing to people. Totally misleading people that think their fish is safe. 
Anami from near Fukushima number one power plant radiation tested clear. Bon Appetit food radiation data sheets of the Anami, which they are eating right now. I don't see them eating, buddy. Show me a picture of them eating. And when I'm looking at this report here, back row per kg, I see 40.6. A CC 134. That's more than the CC 137. They're only checking, look, they're only checking for three. Iodine 131, CC 137, and CC 134. That's a very misleading test. Something to keep in mind as well is that Geyer counters do not pick up all the radiation in the environment. The number one Isotope releases uranium. It's an alpha emitter. It's not picked up by that. So why, why aren't they testing for uranium here in the uranium daughters? Why aren't they testing for strontium? They tested for potassium 40. <laughs> I mean, this is really a misleading test. Anami radiation test data, which I currently enjoy eating. But he's not eating it. He doesn't show you picture of him eating it. No leakage better, of course, but see so wide. Radiation leak from Fukushima number one nuclear power plant seems spread and we can so much. Oh, yeah. They went near power plant by fishing boat. They held this tour several times. Didn't have much time for testing an army from near Fukushima number one power plant see for long this time. So the data is a bit rough. Yeah, it's a bit rough, isn't it? We got much data by Yombo survey number in nuclear power plant. We'll put the details later. But enjoy eating your fish. So as you can see, these are the fissile products that are, are released from the chain reaction nuclear reactor. And the main release is uranium-238 at 943 kilograms. So that's the main byproduct. After that, you have uranium-235. So this should be included in all tests. These are the two main isotopes released. You will not detect them with the Geiger counter. And then the next you have the fission products were hundreds of them basically right there in the fission products that's 35 kilograms and after that your, your next biggest isotope is plutonium which is another alpha emitter you will not detect that with your guide counter and you don't see plutonium on these tests why aren't they testing for plutonium why aren't they testing for uranium then you have neptunium and americium cesium-137 has a radioactive half-life of 30.2 years Let's take a look at those isotopes there's 40 known isotopes of cesium look at these daughters now I was thinking about if you were to actually eat a fish right off the coast of Fukushima, how dangerous that could be just with cesium alone. You're going to be detecting so many dollars if you find cesium-134. They'll decay into another daughter, like xenon. 11 minutes, getting that cesium-122 into your body. Here's another one, five at, at three minutes. TCM-123. Also tritium, I mean, there's gonna be tritium floating around to that ocean. They're gonna be eating tritium. You don't see tritium on these tests. So it's very disingenuous, and that's how they can get below their threshold of 100 becquerel by only checking for a couple daughters. Very deceptive. CCM 138 
18 minutes, it's very possible if you're eating a fish right off the coast of Fukushima Daiichi. One in two Canadians will get cancer. Look what's trending in the news right now. One in four will die of the disease from the Cancer Society. It's right off the Yahoo website. Almost one in every two Canadians is expected to be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. And one in four Canadians will die from the disease. You do get a lot of plutonium that comes out of a chain reaction compared to the other daughters it's one of the biggest ones and they're not looking for it strontium 90 it's got a half-life of 28.8 years so that's about 300 years in the environment also i highly recommend do not buy your kid anything that glows. I could very well be tritium in it. Glow sticks. I mean, they're making everything that glows now. That's no accident.